Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. This is Rich Bradley, President of the Board of Public Service. This is the regular meeting of the Board of Public Service for April 5th, 2022. This is a public meeting and there are no lettings or no hearings today. I would ask that only members of this board be allowed to speak unless recognized by myself or the secretary. Without any further ado, I'll ask the secretary to please call the roll. Director Davis? Aye. Director Hayes? Aye. Director Aitu? Uh, Director Scargan? Present. Director Scobie? Director Williams? Present. And President Bradley? Present. We have a quorum. I will call the meeting in order. President, recommendation that approval be given as follows. Plans and specifications for letting number 8744 for the reconstruction of runway 12R through 30L from taxiway R to taxiway G, reduce runway width and modify connecting taxiways. Project two at St. Louis Lambert International Airport. Encroachment agreement by and between Barnes Jewish Hospital and Missouri nonprofit Public Benefit Corporation and City of St. Louis, acting and through, acting by and through the Board of Public Service, authorizing the owner to install two tower crane footings, foundations, and earth retention, retention systems along the west and southern extent of that real property located at 4989 Boris Hospital Plaza and City Block 3888. Memorandum of Understanding for Cass Avenue Improvements, Phase 1, Tucker Boulevard to Elliott Avenue, Appendix F. This appendix served as a project plan as specific, specified in Section 2.3 Scope of Activities of the Memorandum of Understanding City Infrastructure project, Projects um, supported by St. Louis Development Corporation Resolution Number 18-SLDC-695. Office of Special Events requests the following be approved with certain conditions. Seven special events to be declared as festival zones. Spring Family Fest at Washington Avenue between Garrison and Leffenwell and T.E. Huntley between Locust and Samuel Shepard on April 16, 2022 from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. Setup will be on April 16, 2022 at 6 a.m. and turn will be at 4 p.m. MDA Music Walk of Missouri at Forest Park on May 1st, 2022 from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. Setup will be May 1st, 2022 at 7 a.m. and turn will be at 2 p.m. Ambrose La Festa, the block surrounding St. Ambrose Church on May 1st, 2022 from 12 p.m. to 7 p.m. Set up will be on May 1st, 2022 at 8 a.m. and teardown will be at 10 p.m. Microfest Live for Life Forest Park on May 6th, 2022 from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. and on May 7th, 2022 from 9 a.m. to 9.30 p.m. Set up will be on May 6th, 2022 at 8 a.m. and teardown will be on May 8th, 2022 at 5 p.m. Our Lady of Sorrows at Rhodes between Kings Highway and Macklin and uh, on 20, May 21st, 2022 at 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. Set up will be on May 20th, 2022 at 8 a.m. and turn down will be on May 22nd, 2022 at 8 p.m. Blues on the Block at North 6th Street between Washington and Locust on Saturdays, June 4th, 11th and 18th, 2022 on Saturdays, July 9th, 16th, 23rd, and 30th, 2022. On Saturdays, August the 6th, 13th, 20th, and 27th, 2022, from 5 p.m. to 8.15 p.m. On, on the days of the events, set up will be 12 p.m. and turn on will be 10 p.m. Not so quiet concert series, the library, the sidewalk face and central libraries, out entrance on July 21st, 2022, from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m. Set up will be July 21st, 
2022 at 8 a.m. and shutdown will be at 10 p.m. Director of Human Services, Public Utilities and Streets, joint recommendation that the following be approved subject to certain conditions. Application number 130794, request from Great Rivers Gateway for public improvements at 2019 Market Street. Scope of work is defined by the Brookline Gateway segment along the north side of Market Street, bounded by 22nd Street on the west side, 20th Street on the east. This scope includes the Greenway Trail, planting areas, bike parking, site benches, and connective improvements to adjacent site development. Directors of Park, Recreation, and Forestry, Public Utilities, and Streets. Joint recommendation that the following be approved subject to certain conditions. Application number 129754, AT&T to place a new fiber octave cable starting an existing manhole in the 5200 block of Forest Park Parkway, just south of 5293 London. For 1,160 feet east along Forest Park Parkway, place a handhold, then continue south 110 feet to Fish Hatchery Building at 100 Union in Forest Park. Directors of Public Utilities and Safety, Joint recommendation that the following be approved subject to certain conditions. Application number 129038, request from Jolene Investments LLC to subdivide the land at 2927 20, through 29 Sydney Street and City Block 2080. Application number 130795, request from ASA Homes LLC to adjust the boundary at 1138 Kentucky Avenue and City Block. 3992. Application number 130796 request for the Beulah Company to subdivide the parcels into two parcels at 2623 Ohio, City Block 2074. Directors of Public Utilities and Streets, joint recommendation that the following be approved subject to certain conditions. Application number 130797 request from Bowen Stewart's Hospital to encroach in right of way at 4989 Barnes Jewish Hospital Plaza, City Block 3888, with earth retention systems and tower cranes, which are required for the construction of the new patient tower. Joint recommendation that three applications from American Fiber Communications be approved, subject to certain conditions. Application number 129730, 4204 West Mathis Avenue, 129731. 4408 Dr. Martin Luther King Drive, 129732, and along Macklin Avenue near 5389 Archmoose Street. Joint recommendations that seven applications from AT&T be approved subject to certain conditions. Application number 129727, 1900 Hampton Avenue, 129743, 3420 Iowa Avenue, 129749, 3535 South Jefferson Avenue, 129751 4006 Lindo Boulevard, 129753 600 South Teresa Avenue, 129755 4300 Lindo Boulevard, 129758 1920 South Broadway Street. Joint recommendations that four applications from charter be approved subject to certain conditions. Application number 129716 at 1228 Washington Avenue, 129728 4452 Swan Avenue, 129748 2200 Olive Street, 129756 4347 California Avenue. Joint recommendations that two applications from Everstream be approved subject to certain conditions. Application number 129741 4658 Rosalie Street. 129744-2334 Macklin Avenue. Joint recommendations that five applications from MCI be approved subject to certain conditions. Application number 129722-1404 Montrose Avenue, 129723-1201 McKay Place, 129724-1922 Park, 129726-2613 South 11th Street, 129740-4701 McMillan Avenue, 
Director of Streets, recommendation that the following be approved subject to certain conditions. Application number 130760, request from My Keys Bakery and Country Store to encroach on right away with Sidewalk Cafe at 1730 South 8th Street. Recommendation the following be given, sorry. Recommendation that approval be given as follows. Affidavit for Hingle U.S. Operations Company, petition number 6897 to vacate an irregular shape portion of McKissick, McKissick beginning approximately 830.5 feet southeast of Humboldt in the city of St. Louis, Missouri. Affidavit of Steel Coat Create LLC petition number 6907 to vacate the westernmost 1.26.66 feet plus or minus five feet of the 20 foot wide east west alley in city block 2212 as bounded by Grashart, Teresa, Pappen, and Grand in the city of St. Louis, Missouri. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, board members. My name is Evan Winkler, zoning plan examiner with the city of St. Louis, representing the building commissioner. Per order uh, number 766, transmitted herewith, our recommendations for the following conditional use agenda applications. Approval with conditions is recommended for 11 applications. 1216 South 13th Street, 3197 South Grand Boulevard, 6201 Michigan Avenue, 3505 Gravoy Avenue, 6025 Gravoy Avenue, 7726 Virginia Avenue, 3342 Watson Road, 2823 Cherokee Street, 3160 Morgan Ford Road, 3802 Gravoy Avenue, 3318 Washington Avenue. I request that these recommendations be approved as submitted. Thank you very much, Evan. Uh, just a couple of points of clarification. I know we had some uh, revised conditions and so just a couple points that I'll make. I'm sure these just need a little clarification uh, in the record. 3342 Watson, which was a fitness center. It had a letter of support in the packet from Alder woman Marlene Davis. Um, that should be Alderman Joe Vaccaro. And there was no letter, so I'm assuming that there was no determination. The other one I think you guys covered was 2823 Cherokee Street a convenience store with liquor, sales, no cooking. Condition number three read, there shall be no selling of liquor, alcohol, or non-intoxicating beer at any time. So need to adjust that condition, but just a couple points of clarification from me, and I will open the floor up to any other questions from any of our other board directors. Director, thanks for those clarifications. I make a motion to approve the conditional uses as submitted by Mr. Winkler. Second, second. Okay, it's been a motion and second to approve. Is there any further discussion? Seeing none, can you call the roll please? Director Davis. Aye. Director Hayes. Aye. Director Scoggin, sorry. Aye. Director Scoby. Aye. Director Williams? Aye. President Bradley? Aye. Today's conditional uses are approved. I'd like to turn your attention to our meeting minutes from last Tuesday, March 29th, 2022. Are there any questions or comments on those meeting minutes? Seeing none, I'll ask for a motion to approve, please. So moved. Second, Williams. Thank you. Can you call the roll, please? Director Davis? Aye. Director Hayes? Aye. Director Scoggin? Aye. Director Scobie? Aye. Director Williams? Aye. President Bradley? Aye. The minutes are approved. Today's agenda, questions or comments on our meeting agenda today? Again, seeing none, I'll ask for a motion to approve, please. Motion to approve, Williams. Second, Hayes. Thank you. Can you call the roll, please? Okay, Director Davis? Aye. Director Hayes? 
Aye. Um, Director Stagan? Aye. Director Scobie? Aye. Director Williams? Aye. President Bradley? Aye. Today's agenda is approved. Before we adjourn, are there any comments or any questions from any of our board directors? Seeing none, I'll ask for a motion to adjourn, please. Moved, Hayes. Second. Second, Davis. Thank you. All in favor, please say aye. 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 Meeting adjourned. Thank you all. Have a wonderful day. Thank you. you. Too. Thanks. Good evening.